everybody, it's Zero Gear Plus, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I'm super hyped now that we're a paladin, and let's go to this Chuckable Forest, because I feel like Chicagoing. That is officially a thing, because I said so. Uh, so since we're here, we can have Tella use his awesome magics. <laughs> I'm already weird today. Uh, to heal us up, and I would touch this blue check, this white checkbo here. Not blue, no such thing exists. I mean, blue checkbo. I, mean, I said blue checkbo. But now we're gonna take a checkbo and go all the way back to Mycidia, because walking is for chumps. Oh, I'm sorry, copyrighted. I don't know. I don't think anybody's gonna flag me, but. I mean, it's like, I don't monetize these videos. Yet. So welcome back to my city. Oh, do, 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 do. How much money do we have? Yeah, I think we should get some armor so that we don't have to go back to see the elder completely naked. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. When we got Tella a couple episodes ago, uh, I bought some equipment for him. I bought a silver ring, and I didn't get a guy helmet for him. Well, I'll fix that right now. So yeah, I accident well not accidentally, I purposefully bought an extra silver uh, ring. I didn't have the money, that's right, I didn't have the money to buy another thing. So uh, did I, I could swear, I'm not going to buy one if I don't have to, because I think I just bought one. Okay, I am not effective, I am not a useful, I'm not good at this game. I'm actually very good at this game. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I finally got to that point. I finally reached that state of mind where it's like, I'm all over the place. Uh, leather. I'll keep those for now, actually, I think. Now, I'm not afraid to show you guys this stuff, because, um... Well, you know, I just keep the leather and iron, it's not a big deal. Extra iron ring that I don't really need. Feathers, 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 feathers! All over the place. Look at this demon stuff, because we're never going to use it again, really. We're gonna keep Yang's claws as like a testament. I think that'll do. Now we buy some armor for our knight in shining armor here, and we still don't have enough money. Wow, I've never actually gotten to this point of the game and not had enough money. It's really a first. I usually almost always have the money, and my nose is still itchy. That's what happens when you've been talking for a while. Um, there anything I can just sell? Something I don't need? Like this cloth now, and uh, these iron rings. Still not quite enough. That was a feathered cap. I didn't want to get rid of those. Yeah, that was dumb. Uh, huh. yeah. You know what, let's just, let's, let's not worry about it. We'll come back. We'll get it. We'll worry about the gauntlets later. I think we'll worry about them later. Which is strange. Normally I should be one to worry about them now, but don't know why I'm not. I usually have the money for it by now. I don't know why I haven't been getting any money. Probably just because I've been running from battles. That's always a possibility. So hi! Uh, I'm back. And better than ever. Didn't think it possible. What do you mean? Oh, you sent them with me to spy on me. I am appalled, good sir. Sorry we deceived you, but we didn't really have much of a choice. Yeah, I figured you guys were being a little bit too nice, despite the fact that I had uh, completely killed half the population of your village earlier in the game. So the light gave me the sword, and apparently has something engraved on it. A legend. Let's find out what the legend says. Born from the mouth of a dragon, rising towards the heavens with the light and darkness, a sleeping promise shall awaken. Veiled in the light of eternity, Mother Earth shall be blessed with... Be blessed with what? Did you take that out, game? I don't remember this part of the... It's supposed to be with a bounty of mercy. Did that just not get put in? 
maybe they didn't actually, that would make sense. Um, I think maybe in the retranslation department, there's a set number of lines that the legend actually uses. So I think they might have used a few too many lines. I'm actually starting to regret, slightly, slightly starting to regret recording this version of the game. Must defeat Golbez. Tella, you just noticed, was in our party. It's been a while we met up on Mount Ordeals. I'm going to avenge Anna with Mateo. And... Yeah. Golbez killed her. I want revenge. Vengeance is not good. You'll throw away your own life. Mateo will kill you. Yeah. You're up to speed. Cecil's a paladin. If you work together, you might be able to defeat Golbez without Mateo. So we need an airship. So he's going to unlock the Devil's Road for us, which is going to help us to get to Baron fast. Because there was actually a... I think there was a... I think there was a place... There was a building that I visited in the town of Baron way back when. In like the first or second episode. I think it was the second episode. That um, I couldn't do anything with. And uh, it'll look kind of familiar if you, uh, if you were paying attention. So these guys are still going to come with us. I was just kind of glancing over the little bits of dialogue there. But um, they're going to stay with us because um, we can always use them. You know, they're awesome. They, they've been with us thus far. I mean, why not bring them with us? I mean, we've kind of seen them. I've seen them. We've all seen them just kind of like grow and develop as magicians. So we can always use that. So that's cool. So this is the Devil's Road. Cue strange music. This music when I was a little kid used to creep me out. Now that I'm an adult, it still kind of creeps me out no real point for this kind of music. It's creepy and strange and weird. Okay, I'm lying. I still don't like it. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just like, it's not normal. What's down here? I forget. Nothing useful. This is, a oh, this is where the training room was relocated to. That makes sense. That makes so much sense. You, like, you wouldn't believe that makes so much sense. So, uh, I'm kind of tired. Even though we have, you know, like, full everything. So, I don't know about you, but we're gonna go rest up at the inn. Because we could use some in-stay. Let me go check out this... I'll deal with you in a second. You remind me of somebody, good sir. Can't put my finger on it. Oh, Yang! Duh! Frick! Duh! That's Yang! You're totally Yang, right? It means you've got the sprite to prove it. It's me. You probably don't recognize me because I'm a paladin now. But, um, it tra traitor. Wait a minute. So, what's the deal? With you idiots. Black, can we do anything to stop these guys being okay? Mini, that's bad, because they used it on the one person that could actually do something about something. Cecil, white, slow, rage. Frick, we need. Can we get to Tell's turn? I hate how he's so slow. This is ridiculous. Um What's the spell I want to use? Well, first of all, let's just, just freaking use bio. They're human type enemies, which. Borum's dead! Come on! Give me time to think for a second. And now, friggin'... Oh good, you don't actually gain experience from that fight. Good, because that would have completely screwed up Helm and Borum. Now, I don't know exactly how you're supposed to be able to calculate how much damage to deal in this fight, but apparently this... well, this is a scripted battle. But Yang only deals damage from Cecil or only takes damage, receives damage from Cecil. So, don't worry about hitting anybody else. Only worry about attacking with Cecil. It takes like three or four hits with Cecil. Um, don't worry about anybody else. Heal if you need to. His kick's more effective than ours ever was. So I don't understand why Yang's actually fighting us. I mean, this is actually still kind of weird, I think, but maybe we could just knock him to his senses without actually killing him. Yeah, like that. 
You alright, buddy? Want me to beat you up again? Okay, knocked out by Leviathan, and then while you had amnesia, you were being controlled. Makes perfect sense. Not that getting knocked out in general gives you amnesia, but I'm willing to play dumb for a little while. Great, so right here was swallowed by Leviathan, and we have no idea what happened to Edward, so, because Edward was with us when the boat capsized. So, Yang's back in our party, yay! First, well actually, no, Tell is the first party member that rejoins. So Yang's the second, and that's, that's still cool. Because Yang's awesome. <laughs> You're really tough. You kicked those soldiers' asses. I like you. Stay tonight for free. I love this game's translations department. It's awesome sometimes. My forehead's itchy still. Probably getting, like, another eczema flare. So this is Tella. You two have never met. Tella, Yang, Hang, Tella. These are the twins. There's Palum, he's an idiot. And uh, this is his uh, much, much better, <laughs> his much, much better half. Um, and cute as a button, twin sister Porum. They are twin magicians. So we've got to save Sid. Not going to be getting in the castle that easily. Huh, this is a Baron key. Looks like Yang actually had some authority while he was um, under amnesia. I love how everybody, like, thinks Final Fantasy VI is, like, the best Final Fantasy game ever. And I'm with you guys. First of all, don't think I'm knocking Final Fantasy VI, because I love that game. Um, but I love how everybody loves Final Fantasy VI, but the game begins with Terra being an amnesiac. And, well, actually, it's more or less like a slave crown kind of thing. But in any case, she's being controlled by, like, the main dominant force of the game. So we're going to want to use that Baron key right here so we can get into the weapon sore. And um, it's just, it's funny, I think, because it's like, it's like, oh, by the way, uh, this was not the first game to do this. So we go through a secret passage, and we can get some of these things back here. Um, so yeah, it's just like, it's like, Tara is like, it's like, oh, she's under control of the people of the Empire, but it happened to Yang first. You know, I just, I think that's hilarious. So here we get 2,000 gold. I could go back to... The city if I really wanted to, but I really don't, so I'm not gonna. Man, I am so lacking money. I think what I'm gonna do is between now and the next episode, I'm just gonna like grind up a bunch of cash and just um, go back to Mesidia, buy up some stuff, just get everything I need, and worry about things then. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because I don't have the money to spend right now. We could get a healing, we could get a healing staff. Um, we could get a Thunder Rod, and these are actually pretty nice weapons. But, um, I don't think they raise your wisdom any, nor do I think the healing stabs raise your will. Um, but we already have Fire, Thunder, and Ice Claws, thanks to my brilliant planning earlier. But, so I'm just gonna give you guys a good feel for what we're gonna be doing in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Um, cause I'm, all, I'm not all out of time for this episode, but I want today to be a shorter one, I think, so. If you like this video, be sure to... I'm choking on my own spit, or at least I'm about to. <coughs> be sure to click that like button, button and that subscribe button so that you can keep up to date on the stuff that I put out. Be sure to hit the annotations in the video so that you can watch the last episode and the next episode if you're watching this in the future. So this is Zero Gear Plus signing off, and I will see you guys then! I just get weirder and weirder with these. I don't know why.